We're here at the West Hollywood Hemp Fest with Steve Cubby, and uh, you're a legend in, in uh, the medical marijuana field. It's nice to see you here. It's nice to be here and see all my friends again. Steve's going to be running for president. Now, tell us a little bit about that. Well, I've always been a libertarian. I ran for governor. I got 74,000 votes uh, as uh, governor of California. And I'm prepared with uh, a party that knows me and supports me. And uh, this is not something uh, that we're going to take lightly. I, I wrote a book called The Politics of Consciousness in which I explore how each of the uh, rights guaranteed to us have been usurped, stolen uh, by traitorous people. What do you have to say to our viewers about your candidacy? Someday I hope all Americans will be able to stand up and say to, to me as their president, inhale to the chief. Uh, seriously, I do have a, a full and complete platform. Uh, we, uh, uh, I drive around in a uh, converted car and burn biodiesel, so none of my money goes to terrorists. <laughs> And by the way, uh, uh, I, I would like to see people making an effort to grow victory gardens of cannabis here in the United States. The federal government tells us that money somehow is going to terrorists, so it seems to me that we have a patriotic duty to grow victory gardens here in the United States to make sure that none of our money goes to terrorists abroad. It stays right here to good, hardworking uh, people. Well, a lot of things derive from the drug war. I mean, if the uh, if uh, if uh, opium uh, and other plants were uh, the same cost as uh, broccoli, can you imagine uh, Osama bin Laden having to get by and finance his war with broccoli sales? So, so really, the drug war makes terrorism economically feasible. And without the uh, huge incentive profit margins created by their prohibition, by prohibition yes. then uh, we wouldn't have the terrorism and the threat that we, we now have here. I, I believe that very much. Of course, uh, I agree with Woody Harrelson that the war on terror is itself Just terrorism. another part. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Well, I, I, I've lost respect for the girly men that are running this country because they've had 10 years to implement. And uh, they give us bogus arguments like uh, a violation of federal law. Hell, it's no violation of any federal law to issue a photo ID to a patient to protect them from being harassed, jailed, humiliated, and bankrupted by uh, police that don't like medical marijuana. So uh, these men need to show some kahunis and Stand follow up for the, the law. Truth. Follow the law as it was written and passed by the people with Proposition 215. Follow the very specific direct instructions by SB 420 that they are to set up these programs, they are to protect patients. And stop uh, hiding behind these uh, bogus arguments and claims that it's somehow in uh, conflict with federal law. If it's in conflict with federal law, why haven't you challenged it here in California and gotten the initiative removed? Because you know that you can't do that. It was written by the people, it was passed by the people, and it's beyond uh, your purview to judge whether or not the people of California were wise in, in passing this law, but they certainly didn't hesitate to pass the law. Juries certainly support us in the trial. The only people that seem to have any trouble understanding medical marijuana are people whose careers, whose selfish little careers depend on them not understanding. Yeah. Hey, you like this shirt? Yeah, I sure do. I just got it back a couple of years ago. The, the police had it for five years. It was part of the evidence that they used against me in the uh, famous trial that got uh, me an acquittal. But uh, why they would... I want to see this. Is this made out of hemp or this something? This is a hemp shirt. This is a hemp shirt, people. Yeah. This is made out of hemp. This is a real thing. And they kept it for how long? Five years. What, was this evidence because it's yes. illegal to have the shirt? I don't Can you know. believe that they actually took the shirt off his back? <laughs> <laughs> but I got it back. Yeah. <laughs> and now I get to tell people, hey, I washed all the cop stuff off of it, and it's like my favorite shirt. Because I can it's see a, why. It's, it's a war. It's I a love this shirt. Well, Steve, this has been great. It's good to meet you here at the conference or the, the Hemp Fest here in West Hollywood, yes. or as the locals call it, WeHo. I'm not quite <laughs> sure how to interpret that, but. <laughs> I like that, WeHo. Thank you very Thank much. You. All right. Hang with the